Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk about customer service order management. This is a new capability that came out in San Diego. I haven't covered it here on the channel yet, but in May 2022, they've updated it and they've added a new priceless capability with order management. So quickly iterating through these new applications, ServiceNow is. Um, let's take a look uh, at what it is first. So basically, order management is a new data model, has some workflows associated with it over in Flow Designer that allows you to process orders. So the basic structure is you're gonna have an order, you're gonna have order line items, these are the actual products or services that people are buying, and then you'll have order tasks that may or may not be automatically generated in order for those to be fulfilled. So let's like, take a look at what an order itself looks like. Here's my order details, and in the top, I've just got basic information you'd expect. What type of order it is, um, am I adding or changing something, uh, who's the contact, what account is it on, and what's the state. So we've got some nice state management going on with these orders, right? Think of all the reporting possibilities. Um, after I do look at order, I've got address stuff, and we can you know, log whether that's the same as a billing and shipping address. I've got some pricing information, and this is the new feature that came out in May, is this ability to have multiple price lists. Um, instead of a single price associated with a product. Um, I'll get to that in a second here. And then the last, I've got some other details, expected start, expected end, actual start, actual end, and some notes coming in from there. But let's take a look at that pricing um, as it relates to the order line items. So here I've got a microwave, dishwasher, and a slide-in range. Um, that Bob is looking to purchase and the price that's going to come in for those is going to be associated with this kitchen appliance price list. If we're actually go look at that price list, it's just going to be um, some small details about when the price list is effective, the start date and end date, and um, it's going to have all the products that are part of that price list with their price. So you can see here that microwave is set to $250, um, the slide-in range is $700 and the dishwasher around $500. So when someone goes and adds uh, a line item to the order, it's going to pull in the appropriate price, and then you can see just above my head there that total price there. So $256 per, per microwave times 100, um, or 10 maybe, <laughs> gives me $25,600 for those microwaves. So um, I actually made my own price list for this demo. Um, I made my own list too because price lists weren't part of the workspace, so I had to go ahead and add that there. And I did mine for Memorial Day. So I said, hey, maybe I have Memorial Day sale. It's Memorial Day is really close. And uh, that's typically when uh, appliances at least go on sale here in the United States. And I set my microwave to $199 instead of the $256 you saw on the previous screen. So if we were to follow this all the way through and I was to go and create an order uh, for this microwave um, using the new Memorial Day sale pricing, I'll just start a new order. So you're gonna see what a new order screen looks like. Um, it looks just like the regular order screen but no details filled in on it. And I'm not gonna fill out a lot of things. I'm just gonna put a demo order on here. And I wanna do the one thing is associate the price list that I created for Memorial Day. So I'll just search for Memorial Day and I've got my Memorial Day sale there. I'm gonna click save and I put in enough, um, oh, I haven't put in enough, let's actually choose an account. And I think it's called Star Tech. Yep, uh, is my demo account there. So we'll just save it again. And that should let me go start adding line items to this particular order um, in order to start building and creating the order. Now it defaults to a draft state when you first save it. Um, and then you can, in theory, go ahead and kind of build these. While I'm building this in front of you, you should also know that we can connect to an API, we could do punch out uh, with other systems so that you can automatically integrate some ordering uh, with this new uh, offering in ServiceNow. Here's my microwave from that price list. Um, it's not got there yet, but I'm gonna order 10 of these. And I'm gonna do the unit of measure is gonna be each for those. We're not gonna sell boxes of microwaves or pallets of microwaves. And I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave everything else blank. I'm just gonna point out, notice the price list here is showing the Memorial Day sale that came from the order, and there's no pricing yet in the system, right? Because I had a bunch of details up there I could fill out and change the way that this price would be calculated. But as soon as I hit save, it will go ahead and save that order and or order line item and calculate that price. So remember it was $199 and I got 10 of them so I should be looking around $1,900 you can see there. Total price 1990 uh, for those 10 microwaves based on the new Memorial Day pricing. So the price list feature is the new thing with um, with the uh, May release, May 2022 release. I was also curious, I went poking around in Flow Designer and saw that it did come with some out of the box flows uh, with these plugins, specifically the one I think that is gonna be relevant to what we were just doing, is this order management order line task creation flow. Now notice it's in draft, so by default it's not enabled or turned on. 
And essentially what it's doing, um, if you enable it, is when the order is created or updated, it's going to loop through all the order line items and create a task associated with it for somebody to go do something in theory to go order it. So that's, that's actually what's showing there on that piece. Um, there's probably a lot more to come on this particular application. I think we're just seeing the beginnings of order management. We didn't have this capability before. As I said at the beginning, it's an entire data model that's built uh, on the foundation of CSM, so you can apply it to all the different industry-specific data models uh, where people might be ordering stuff B2B or business-to-business, -business, B2C, business-to-consumer, etc., etc. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.